Hey, and welcome back to another podcast session with your host, Miriam Khan at Raise Your Vibes. Today's topic is about people that want accolades for doing diddly squat in your life, in your business, in your personal life. You know what? We all have various people that come in and out of our lives in different scenarios, different situations. You could be somebody who's already got a really, really successful business. Maybe you're someone who's just starting to branch out. Uh, maybe you are someone that's just started a new niche, new market, um, new whatever it is that you've been trying to do. And perhaps for a while, for a long while, whatever the business was, whatever the niche was, whatever the marketing was, perhaps it wasn't going as well as you thought it would. You know, it's hard. It's hard to get started up in a business. We've all been there, I'm sure. Or we know people that have been in that particular scenario and situation. It's not easy, okay? There is a lot of setbacks that you have to make into comebacks. And along that way, you know, along that particular path that you have, you certainly learn uh, who your true friends are, okay? And you learn who you can trust, who you can rely on, who's there to support you, who's there basically to... Uh, help you through those challenging times because sometimes you're starting on very limited resources you know some of us don't have the income of a bank of mummy and daddy you know sometimes we are very very poor we start from very humble beginnings perhaps maybe we've had to borrow you know money from other people uh, certain people put their house up you know as collateral they put it up as uh, a debt um, sometimes people borrow business loans and unfortunately the business doesn't do as well as they hoped and they're stuck with that debt you know and people are being people they show their true colors and sometimes they're not really there to support us they're not really there to encourage us and to help us to grow and that is a journey I guess we have to learn along the way you know for some people they can set their business up within a couple of months for some people it, it can be established over years it's all about building your steps and building your empire however you envisage it you know and however much it grows but the interesting thing is that as and when you you know developing that business and letting it grow letting it blossom letting it uh, you know uh, grow into a hopefully a big empire you know some people have massive chains in different countries now when they started off for example in a market stall you know and it's interesting that along that journey along that way you'll have people in your life that are close to you or people that are acquaintances or even close friends that want some sort of recognition for helping you or supporting you some of these people to be quite honest will have done very little hence the title diddly squat you know they will have just maybe shown up for five minutes you know maybe you're running a market stall for the first time uh, maybe they weren't interested back then maybe um, they show up later you know when you're successful maybe when you've got the business up and running in a say for example hypothetically in an actual physical shop you know maybe you start putting your produce out there in different markets different clientele and then suddenly as you're making that income and your life is changing around you so for example you know maybe you've got more financial lucrative assets so you're able to perhaps buy your own house buy your car um, maybe you're able to employ other people other than yourself and your business starts to boom and blossom how it should do you know these people then either will come in saying I want a discount I want recognition uh, I should have shares in your business you know the list will go on and I'm laughing because it's not a funny ha ha but it's you know quite ironic isn't it that you know when you uh, are starting out they're not really there to encourage and support you their intentions are completely different me personally I've had loads of friends start different businesses including myself and there are times when you are in a situation where if you're going to give someone your time for example you want to help someone out with their business give it freely give it freely don't have expectations that oh I'm going to get a reward or I'm going to get a discount or I'm going to get a freebie do it because you want to from a good heart yeah and do it because you um, feel that giving that time giving that space giving your experience given your skills is going to benefit them but benefit you as well because at the end of the day you want that person to succeed and do well however um, 
you know, I have come across people many, 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 many times. Unfortunately, this is part of life. This is part of the cycle of life where you will have started your business. You'll have started going and they come in thinking that, oh, me and this person, we are like best friends. They might not have seen you in a very long period of time. They've not even supported you. They've not even encouraged you, but they still want the accolades. They still want the recognition or they want the freebies, you know? And at the end of the day, it's all fair and well doing some rewards and doing some discounts for family members, of course, or for loyal customers or VIP customers, or whatever it is you want to call it. But then there are some people that have that expectation coming from their ego that expect that reward as a given, as a given. And we're not in a, you know, a position to do that. Hence, they want that title. They want that um, reward status. And you have to be very tactful. You know, the person that's running the business has to be very tactful. They have to make that decision. They have to make that um, clear cut rule, I guess. And it's not something the other person's gonna like. You know, when you're actually saying to them, no, uh, sorry, but can't do that. Can't give you this, unable to do that. That's because they're not probably used to the word no. And it's going to, you know, disturb their ego. It's going to disturb what they expect, what they think they're entitled to. Some of this comes from pride. Some of it comes, like I said, from ego. Some of it is because they have a, a bit of rudeness about them. And perhaps you're seeing this completely different side to wherever this individual is as well. It's a wake up call. Okay. In business, in life, sometimes we do have to be ruthless. Okay. And sometimes we are extremely ruthless. We can be direct as anything. We could get to the point where we say, sorry, your business ain't welcome. I don't want you having any contacts with me. You know, I don't want you supporting my particular uh, business for these reasons. Yeah. And it's that sort of scenario, that sort of situation where you really do discover the true intention of people around you, you know. And like I said, sometimes that person's uh, position is honorable. It's from a good heart, a good intention. They're trying to help you get set up. Sure, you know, later on in life, you might reward that person however you feel appropriate. It might be that you also give them a help, you know, up the ladder or a step up the ladder, so to speak. And then there are others that just don't, you know, that don't support us, that don't care. So we have to look at that. We have to look at those aspects and we have to look at who's really in it to support us, who's really, really in it to support us and wants us to succeed, wants us to grow, wants us to flourish. And who really is not? That's the hard lesson. And sometimes, you know, these people really will surprise you because you will expect a, a certain friend of yours to be loyal as hell. And unfortunately, they, they're the ones who end up stabbing you in the back. They're the ones who let you down. And, you know, it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's a learning curve finding out who really does support you and who doesn't. But the, the master, I guess, of that lesson, which is a lesson, it's a lesson in wisdom and it's a lesson in growth, is you discovering, well, who is it that I need to focus my time on? Who is it that I really need to step back from? Who is it that I really need to support and help? And do I really need, you know, the sharks, I guess, in my life? The answer is no. But all of us have to come to that lesson. All of us have to come to that particular journey. And that's where there's that big, big, big wake up call for us and for them, you know. And I guess it also shows that you're outgrowing certain people as well. The more that you step back, the more you put a hand up to them and say, sorry, this is this doesn't fit into my schedule or my routine anymore. You know, you're showing uh, respect to yourself and you're showing support to yourself by saying to these individuals, you know, nah, I bow out, I bow out. And you can do that respectfully, by the way. You don't have to do it in an aggressive manner. So it's important to take a step back. It's important to see where, who these individuals are and suss them out. Some of you out there listening today will be, will be sussing people out from day one. We can read their body vibes. We can read their energy. We can read their, you know, uh, social cues. Sometimes we don't. It's difficult. And sometimes we do. So it's a matter of getting a balancing act between the both of them and discovering which side of the fence we're on, who we're gonna tolerate and who needs to be on our team. So if you're in that position, 
look around you. Who's, who are the people you've got helping you grow? Who are the people that's stumping your growth? And who are the ones that, you know, where you need to take out the weeds and say, see you later, bye, sir. bye, you know? That's a learning curve. That's definitely a learning curve. And the person that should be getting accolades, by the way, is yourself. You've put in the effort, you've put in the desire, you've put in so much time in building and growing your business. And you don't want someone to come along and try and trample over your flower bed, you know? You want your flowers to grow strong. You want them to maintain the sunlight. You want your business to flourish and to keep flourishing. So now and again, guys, you do have to take out the weeds. You do have to take out the people that are not part of your plan. And it's all right to do that. Remember to give the accolades to yourself because that's where they belong. Thanks for tuning in. Short but sweet, but to the point. Tune in next time for some more wisdom from Raise Your Vibes. This has been Moom Khan. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening in as always. Bye for now.